Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to take a look at a typical problem where you would have two headers for a data set and how would you unpivot that data. Now take a look at this data. We have uh, the HR as the main header and the department, which is the HR, has got uh, one more subheader, which is the manager, the senior manager and the vice president, the designation. And similarly, we have a main header for sales and then the designation uh, for the sales department. Now I'd like to unpivot this data because I cannot make a pivot table out of this. Uh, so how do I actually unpivot the data? Unpivoting means that uh, creating a row for every number. So for HR, for manager, for the month of Jan, we'd have a row. Again, for HR, for senior manager, for the month of Jan, we'd have another row. How do we create something like that? So I've already named this as something called as data. Now let's just load this into Power Query. So I go to data and I say from table range and the data gets loaded into Power Query. Now, the first thing that I will do here is that I'll transpose the data, uh, make the rows into columns and columns into rows. So from the transpose tab, I am going to click on transpose and the data gets transposed like that. Now you can take a look that HR is written once here, but I'd like to have HR all through the way until I get the next header for sales and sales again repeated all through out till the end. So I select column number one, um, click on fill and I say fill it down. Now, once I have that, obviously these are the headings of my data. So I go to the home tab and I promote the first row as the header. So use the first row as a header. Now I have the data in shape. Now, as of now, this is still not a single row for every uh, number. So I pick up the first two columns, which is this and this, right click on them and then say unpivot the other columns. And you can see that um, a number for each row is now generated. Now this is nothing but the month or let's say the hiring month. Uh, sorry, this is actually this is the designation. Uh, and this is the hiring month. And uh, this is the hires number of hires. Now you can see that at places we have zero hires. If you would like to remove it, you can apply the filter to remove the zeros from this data. And now I just simply choose to load the data in my Excel and I have neat and clean data ready. So it just takes a while and you can see that the data has been loaded into my Excel. Now, obviously I had to rename here from column one to the department, which I definitely forgot. So this is department and I say close and load and this is now department. Now let's just take a look that uh, we had a total of 42 numbers here, which is right here. And if I take a look at my data, 42 rows have been loaded into Excel. So this is absolutely fine. Thanks so much for watching this. If you have any questions, please do write me a comment and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks again and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.